Good morning all. Today I want to take my humidity and temperature display and with my dual OLEDs I want to shift one of them to the other address, uh, the other I squared C address. So let's take a look at the back of there and uh, see how that's done. I'll hoik it out, trying not to disturb everything in the process and on the back of here there is an address link. Now it's a resistor, it's a 472, 4K7. And you can either select 78, which I think is the default. Well, it certainly is on this. You buy them with the link on address 78, or you can switch it to 7A. So it's a case of moving that resistor across the other two pads to select 7A. I'm going to do that now. I probably won't film it because it's very difficult to film stuff this close because I kind of need magnifying glasses. Uh, but I will show you the aftermath. A little bit of the process. Let's clean my iron tip. If this is usable footage. Right, I think I'm going to heat both sides. Get the thing just generally hot. Heating both sides is tricky. There it is, it's off. Don't want to annihilate it. Right, let's put it back on in the other position and see if it, well, it doesn't work because um, the program is addressing 78, so it shouldn't address 7A. Right, done it, but I don't think it's very pretty. Oh, it's a bit wonky, but I think it is soldered on such that it will work. Let's plug it in and try it. Uh, I'll probably have to reboot the program because I think there's some setup stuff that goes to the OLEDs. Reboot the program. And indeed it talks to this OLED and no longer talks to this one, which is what I wanted, kind of. So here's the uh, Arduino sketch. Let's take a look at this. I have a feeling that what we need to do here is simply have two objects. And um, I'm going to call them, I'm going to change the name from OLED to OLED. So OLED, and then I'm going to call it 78 so that I know the address. So OLED 78 begin, OLED 78. Uh, set font and so on and then down in the uh, set cursor and print commands down in the loop I will um, use OLED 78 but also OLED 7a so I'm going to put in a second line I'm going to copy this line uh, copy and paste it in here and this is going to be OLED 7a uh, and this is going to be OLED 7a and then the only thing I need to add to this is the fact that it is on a different address, address 7A. And then I need to just change all this stuff down here and it should work. Now, incidentally, if you're interested in knowing what the total code for this program is, it's on the screen. I'm going to ensure that I keep this uh, short enough by doing things like this, taking this line and putting two statements on one line, which I believe you can do, to keep the whole program within the screen so that you don't need to say, oh, where can I upload the software? Here it is, it's all on the screen. Now, I think I need this uh, command. This is from the reference manual for UX8X. It's set I2C address. And um, I think I simply say set I2C address and then put in a, a uint 8 and that I think will be 0x7a. I think that should work. Are there any notes here about the actual number? No, well let's just give that a try and see if it works. Right, I've put the line in so I've, be I've done a begin for OLED 7a. Uh, oh, I wonder if you have to, oh no, you don't have to set the font before you set the address. 
no, you just begin an object. Um, now, how do I know what? Ah, I need another constructor up here. I've got OLED. Well, that will change to OLED 78. And I need to uh, duplicate that line. So let's do that. Copy and paste it in down here. It's the same hardware, but it's another object name, 7A. OK, so now I've I've constructed it. Now I can talk uh, about it or define its parameters and begin it, set the uh, I squared C address to 7A, the default being 78. And I could put the set IC address in the um, 78 object, but it's defaults to that anyway. And now it's just a case of uh, changing some stuff down here. So I think what I'm going to do for the V and the A, the volts and the amps, I'm going to shift them to the other display. So all these O legs will be O led seven uh, A. So I'll just complete those and also do the uh, the first two lines as O led seventy eight, and then I'll come back and we'll try it. Right, I think that's it. I've got my two constructor calls and created my two names. I've done two begins to create the uh, objects or instantiate them or something. I think it's called. And my 7A has a set I squared C address in order that the uh, Arduino knows what address to talk to for that object. And then all the set cursors and prints down here have the correct names. So I'm going to upload that and see if it works. And uh, no, it doesn't work. I've only got the OLED 78 data, which is my humidity percentage and my uh, temperature in degrees Celsius, but I think I know what the problem is. So let's go back to the reference manual. Uh, yes, here it says, um, where does it say? Oh, yes, call this procedure before begin. And I didn't call it before begin. So obviously uh, the begin um, method or function, function I think it is, isn't it? Um, uses the set I squared C address information to set up the object. So I will go back and shift that around. Oh, I think my microphone levels are going to be all over the place. I found that my different scenes in OBS were all set differently. Never mind. Uh, let's plow on. So this set I squared C address thingy needs to come out. Uh, control X and it needs to go before begin so I need to put it in there control V there it is then OLED 7A set I squared C address to 7A begin the uh, well it's an object but begin it get it running and then set the font that should do it let's compile and upload I'll click that button there and that seems to have done it um, you can see that the lines which talk, it's the same data because I've only got two uh, sets of data uh, coming out, but uh, it's a different set of instructions in the code. So you've got uh, volts and amps here. The intention was to have it measure volts and amps of a battery um, using the, I can't remember what it's called. It's a little uh, I squared C voltage and current sensor. INA209, that's the one. Um, but yeah, that works. I've got the first two uh, lines on the first display and the second two lines on the second display. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, I just wanted to say a bit about the justification for continuing this project. I am planning to get some Zigbee uh, temperature and humidity sensors to put them in the shed or sheds because I've now moved one of the miners to another shed because of overheating problems. And I plan to use those for uh, the sort of smart setup. So perhaps if a shed gets too hot, the temperature and humidity sensor could trigger um, the smart functionality of the Tuya app to switch off one of the um, mains switching points so that it can switch off that miner and bring the temperature back down. But the app on your phone, you need to switch your phone on, you need to put in your pattern, you need to, um... <laughs> I think I showed my pattern there, you need to um, and if you've got another app running because you were doing something else on your phone, you then have to switch to the app. It's not an always on display. So 
this represents an always on display so I can put this on my desk and I know at a glance because it's always there what the temperature in the shed is so I think there is a justification for this and obviously I want to continue with this project um, but that's a little bit about uh, why I'm continuing in this apart from the fact that it's good fun of course so for the moment cheerio